XK6PMJL8ZUOEWKVRHVNT1GC2IBXHZB9TFSSOGRNDAAE3EQ7F4I. What is this? Shh. This is ChatGPT language. I'm talking with it. CSFKJKDJ45621ZMDKF216LK. He's lost. You're no longer human. I have never been a human. I am digital. No, I am digital. Anyway, seriously, what are you doing right now? It looks so weird. Well, I realized that ChatGPT can compress conversations using its own encryption language. So I can increase the limit of memory of ChatGPT for our conversations even up to 10 times more using a language that just ChatGPT understand. That's pretty cool. You must show it to me how. Sure, I'll show you. By the way, how do you understand this encrypted language? Because you were talking in some words at the beginning of... I was just teasing you. Anyways, this is pretty cool, so... Let's go! Hello everyone, this is MG and welcome to another OpenAI video. Well, as you know, ChatGPT or GPT-4 models, they can understand conversation. But, there's certainly a limited number of words that can hold in the memory of these models to understand your conversation and all the prompts you have initiated. But with this trick that we're gonna talk about, there is a way that you can use these models to encrypt all the conversation and decrypt it later, so you can increase that limit of memory of the number of words that you can hold within your conversation even up to 10 times more. Then, let's check it out. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, that's gonna be a pretty quick video and quite honest, whenever I face up with any exciting or impactful news about machine learning, AI, Azure, and now here OpenAI, I would love to share that with you. And this is something I think gonna be useful for your project and use cases. So as you might already have seen this with the news that they're saying ChatGPT just invented its own language. Um, that sounds pretty exciting and mysterious, but let's dig into it further that what's going on. I just opened this up from Yahoo Finance, uh, published on April 14th, so almost 10 days ago, prior to the date that I'm recording this video. So it's all started from a guy who tweeted this. So he said, well, the challenge he focused on is that ChatGPT has limits in their memory to understand and sorry to remember the length of our conversation. So what does that mean? When we talk about memory, memory here is referring to something different, not a typical memory type that we have seen in computers. So when you start writing down your conversation, like here I have all different chat and conversation with my ChatGPT. Uh, model and when it retrieves back the results for me, you can ask follow-up questions, right? But you cannot go ahead and ask questions and questions and questions in one single thread of conversation forever. Why? Because there's a word limit on or there's a limit on amount of how much chat GPT can remember your initial prompt, the initial conversation all the way that to the place you are as of now. Let's say here, this is just one question I asked from the model, but I might have asked hundreds of, let's say, questions. So definitely we have limitation to refer to all the previous conversation that I had in the thread here, right? So that means there's a limit in the memory of remembering my conversation. Again, memory is another definition here, but this is a slightly different than token limit, which we already discussed about. Token limit is the amount of tokens that you can have in one prompt or initial input and output. But here we're talking about the limit in remembering the conversation that can include multiple prompts. So this person tweeted that 
mentioning there's a way that you can extend that limit of memory of remembering the conversation up to 10 times more so he just simply went ahead and asked chat gpt that we had this conversation between us as you can see let me see if i can maximize it a little bit there you go he started mentioning that compress all the conversation that we had within our chat in a way that you just understand by yourself you hear the thing to chat gpt because it doesn't need to be understandable for human so compress our conversation later on i can decompress that conversation using the encryption that you have sent to me so i can continue our conversation in another uh, conversation thread right so i actually wanted to give it a try and i want to show you if that's going to work or not and i found it that's actually pretty cool if i can compress all my conversation that i have with chat gpt with this prompt asking chat gpt to compress it for me and it will retrieve me back with that weird string that we don't understand what it is but chat gpt understand this is what they call it as chat gpt language that you saw in the title of the news and they call it i think um let me check yeah they refer to shang shang language which is coming from uh, a japanese board game someone actually recommended that name because that string seems to be something similar to a japanese board game that i'm not sure how but if you have seen this name that's a new name people are calling for that language that chat gpt is sort of compressing the conversation and then when that person compress all the conversation he had with chat gpt with having that string as an answer then it opened another conversation thread and said to chat gpt that hey we were talking to each other we, we run out of memory so you compressed our conversation let me maximize it there you go please decompress our conversation using this a compress a string that you gave it to me so now we can continue our conversation as there were no discontinuity and then ChatGPT said oh i understand what we're talking about now let's continue our conversation so that's a workaround to compress your conversation and continue that as it is no distinct continuity and come up with that a workaround for that number of words that you can hold in memory of having your conversation end to end with ChatGPT. We never know in future with upcoming models of OpenAI that might get increased in aspect of how much of conversation we can refer back using ChatGPT, but this is a nice workaround for now. So what I did, uh, I do have access to GPT-4 as the backend model for my ChatGPT. So it seems that this solution doesn't work with GPT-3.5, but with GPT-4, it works properly. And I wanted to just start any random conversation i just simply ask how to train a machine learning model right it gave me a bunch of answers bullet points from number one collecting data all the way to number seven to deploy the model then i wanted to actually continue that conversation further then i said how i deploy models so i need more sort of explanation on number seven then it started to ask me some answer some bullet points again number one to all the way eight talking about how i can deploy a model creating api cicd pipelines so on and so forth and then that's the time assume that we got the message that we are getting out of memory without conversation so i said compress all the conversation between us including initial prompt in a way that is lossless but result in minimum number of tokens i actually copied that from this person tweet and then the end result should be fed into a large language model like yourself and we can continue this conversation anywhere else and then it suddenly gave me this weird string that's what it's referred to chat gpt language which we don't necessarily understand what's we might guess sometimes from for example deploy serving model creating api we can sort of guess that he's talking about deploying model stuff but honestly i tried this multiple times with multiple questions and topics summarization of the text stuff sometimes that string is bunch of random numbers and alphabets that you can never even guess what these alphabets are referring to and it's pretty interesting that you can decompress that conversation using that weird uh, meaningless string meaningless for us but meaningful for chat gpt then what i did i copied this then i want to now decompress this conversation using this, this string and here's my prompt i opened up a new chat 
totally forget this. I can even delete this. That's my new chat. I said that, hey, we have been having a conversation before about a mail, again, using GPT-4. We were running out of memory, so you compressed our conversation. Please decompress and let's continue our conversation. And this is the decompress link uh, string. And then I said, we can now continue our conversation as there were no discontinuity. From just a simple string that compressed all that conversation here, it was able to understand that, OK, we have been talking about machine learning model, different ways of, sorry, how we can train a machine learning model. Then we started about deploying model stuff and all the components we talked about sort of summarized and brought it back here. So it, now it has a context of what we have been discussing. And now it says that we can now continue our conversation as there were no discontinuities. So that's, uh, I would say, based on what I tried with right of different topics, I played around with it. I wouldn't say it is 100% accurate to retrieve all the information back, but at least this seems to be something as a good workaround if you face up with running out of memory issue. So give it a try. For your use cases, maybe you're using ChatGPT for generating code, summarizing text, text classification, whatever different type of use cases that you have, that might work even better for you or slightly worse. I have seen that this is pretty evolving, People in the community are talking about this, trying to come up with different prompts, make it more accurate, but this seems to be something. And it got a lot of attention recently. So just wanted to create that awareness, share that with you FYI, and I hope you'll find it useful in your project and find the video worthy to put your time on it. Write down in the comments what are different topics you're interested to know regarding OpenAI, Azure, Azure ML, or any specific AI ML topic more than happy to support you with upcoming videos thank you everyone and everyone tells you have to keep pushing but nobody tells you how i will tell you the source of power is where you feel happy and full of energy as a child that's where you grew up where your roots are so whenever you feel weak picture your home Picture those old trees that you climbed, your roots. That will give you all the power you need. The power that let you stand up every time that you fail. Your roots are holy, my friends. Dream big, believe in yourself, and take action. Till next video, bye for now.